the violin is my voice. And that's, that's it, it's my voice. If I didn't have my violin, I couldn't talk, I couldn't communicate, I couldn't like get across my point, you know, what I'm trying to say, and I can't do that in real words anyway, so I need my violin to, you know, to help me. I don't want to say it's like a crutch, but it's, it's like it's my voice. <laughs> I am feeling anxious, a little nervous, um, just, you know, performance, like, anxiety, I guess. I'm excited, though. I'm super excited. I grew up in Huntsville, Alabama. My dad plays the trumpet, and that's really where I get my music roots from. He was in the Huntsville Symphony Orchestra. He was a first chair trumpet player. I wanted to follow in his footsteps, so that's why I chose music as a path. Well, you would think that I would play the trumpet because of my dad, but for whatever reason, my dad started my older sister off on the violin. I adored my sister. I wanted to be just like her. I used to like walk around behind her and, and mimic everything she did. She hated it, but you know, I didn't care. And all I knew was that I wanted to be like her. I begged my parents. I was like, Mom, Dad, I really want to play the violin like Lauren. Uh, I think I said Woey then, I couldn't say Lauren. Like Woey, and if you, <laughs> if you would please just let me play violin. I begged them, I begged them, I begged them. And you can't say no to a, a really cute three-year-old, especially when they want to like further their, <laughs> or broaden their horizons at such a young age. I started a quartet that I'm so I'm so excited about this quartet. It's called Prima Voce Quartet. Prima means first. Voce means voice. So we are the first voice. This show is coming up really fast and I have nerves because not only is this a direct reflection of myself as like a leader, creator, uh, um, like managing the group and like the logistics and all that kind of stuff, but it's also I have to perform well also. So you know there's both aspects. Honestly, if I don't have it together by now, then I don't know. I think I, I am nervous that we won't have like a big crowd. So I think like um, subconsciously that's why I, well that's one of the reasons why I got a small venue just because it's our first, our first uh, show or concert or whatever. So I don't know who's going to come. Are you guys ready for the show? Um, I hope so. Like you already paid for the venue. Everybody, <laughs> that was it, man. <laughs> we worked, we worked really hard. I, I hope you could tell that we worked hard. We don't have an encore, so <laughs> we don't have an encore for you. Man, I am elated that it's over. I've. I've I got a gig for my quartet. I'm just looking for cars now. <laughs> People are, I'm happy. I'm happy it's over. I'm happy at the reactions that I'm getting. I'm happy that like, like one of my friends from like elementary school, I was talking to him and he, he drove up from Huntsville to just like, you know, support. So I appreciate the support. I appreciate all the love, man. I just, I'm happy that this, like this first step has happened. You know, we can do, we can do so much more with this, so. I'm happy. I can't find my cards though. <laughs>